I went to pick my kid up from school and all the kids are out on the playground yelling, it's uh, raining spider webs outside. And of course, it's not spider webs, it's chem web. And some actually floated down right in front of me. For any of you that haven't seen it up close, this is what it looks like. Not a spider web, it's thick and it floats uh, in the air. You'll just see big long strings of this floating in the air. There's actually some of it floating in front of my car right now. Uh, I'm not sure if this can cap, oh yeah, there it is. Anyway, uh, this is, again, this is it up close, and it has a consistency that's not at all like a spider web. Um, it's hard to focus uh, how I need to here. There, let me try to uh, stretch it. You can see this is not a spider web by the way that it's stretching. This is called, well, not scientifically, but this is what people are calling chem web. And you'll see this, your car might be coated in it, it might just be floating out in open fields, there might be long strings of it hanging, uh, hanging off of different objects and trees and bushes. Uh, so just be aware and make sure uh, kids don't go up and touch it because we don't know exactly what's in this stuff. I'm definitely going to be washing my hands after this. Uh, I also know that in the past it has reacted to my hand coming close to it. You can kind of see that it's, let's see, there's a little bit of air blowing on it right now, so I'm trying to see if I can get it to react. Before it was almost like magnetically charged, where if my finger got close to it, then it would sort of pull towards it. Anyway, that is Kim Webb.